I'm Jasmine and these are my parents, Guy and Joe, and my boyfriend Rowan. And this is our home, Free Spirit. Come join us on our adventures. In the calm waters of the Isles of Scilly, we began to ready Free Spirit for her departure. We deflated the kayaks and lashed them to the deck and made sure all was safe. The next morning, we set off. We would not touch land again until we made it to Scotland, over 340 nautical miles away. We felt sad to be leaving these beautiful islands, but we finally had following winds. And with some big storms forecast to hit the silly soon, we decided we were ready for a new adventure. slowly faded into the distance, the winds dropped and an ocean swell rolled and rocked our little home. Look, look, look. Beautiful! The bow riding! It wasn't long before we were joined by a pod of playful dolphins. disappeared into the waves and we were left alone on the ocean looking out towards the endless horizon.
The winds picked up once more and we could raise the sails again, although the wind was blowing on our stern, which didn't make for great sailing. As the evening closed in, we were assigned to three hour watches that we took in shifts throughout the night. The next morning I awoke at four o'clock for my watch. The swell was still large and uncomfortable, and the winds played games with us. Throughout the day, we hoisted and dropped the sails, eventually giving up and motoring. We passed the time by watching the waves and the occasional dolphins that would visit us. Just as the night closed in and my watch began, the engine died. We set the sails and got to work desperately trying to fix the problem. We were convinced there was something wrong with the fuel supply, so we bled the engine until eventually, to our great relief, it revved to life again. A thick fog closed in around us in the morning, making sailing around other shipping potentially dangerous. So we blew a horn to signal our presence. Eventually the fog cleared and we were bathed in beautiful sunshine. loomed the outline of the calf of man, the first land we had seen in a couple of days. Thirty years ago, Dad had spent the final year of his marine biology degree on the Isle of Man, so it was strange for him to return again after so long, and this time under sail. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19 regulations, we weren't allowed to set foot on shore, but anchored out in the bay of Port Erin. We stayed there for a few hours rest in order to wait for the tides to be right for rounding the Mull of Galloway. At two in the morning, in the darkness, we started the engine and headed out for the last leg of our voyage. We sailed through the darkness and on into the day at seven to eight knots. Eventually, the winds died down to almost nothing, and we were forced to put the engine on again.
we've made it. We've made it. We'd finally made it. Just our family, in our own boat, had made it to Scotland. This was something we'd been dreaming of for a long time, and it didn't feel real to finally be here. We all felt quite emotional. In the distance was the huge form of Elsa Craig. This huge rock harbours a massive gannet colony and is said to be home to 5% of the world's population, with nearly 40,000 breeding pairs. What at first seemed like snow was actually a huge mass of thousands of nesting birds. Truly awesome sight to behold. The noise was deafening and the not so pleasant smell of guano was quite overpowering. The sky and sea was alive with birds and the spectacle took my breath away. Eventually, the island grew smaller and we headed towards our destination. We passed Holy Island, eventually anchoring just off the village of Lam Lash on the Isle of Arran. This voyage was a rite of passage for us and now we are free to explore the wild and rugged beauty of Scotland. Please like and subscribe and join us next time as we begin to explore the waters, mountains and forests of the Clyde.